Welcome and thank you for joining this 15 minute presentation on what you can expect if you are moving to Washington State. Please feel free to pause this presentation at any time if you would like to take a screenshot or write down any information. Also, note that the presentation will always be available on YouTube and the CAP Connection website, just in case you need to go back to see something that you missed. I hope that you're excited about this posting opportunity as there are so many things to do and see in this beautiful area. Let's get started. The state of Washington is known as the Evergreen State. Mount Rainier National Park, the Space Needle, Pikes Place Market, the first Starbucks, Seattle Seahawks, and the Seattle Mariners baseball team are just a few things to do in the local area. Home to the beautiful majestic Mount Rainier, the best time to visit Mount Rainier National Park is July through August. When wildflowers transform the park's meadows and the dry warm weather provides optimal hiking conditions. There are over 757 Starbucks coffee shops in Washington State, including the first Starbucks, which was open in Seattle, Washington in 1971. If you're a sports fan, you will have plenty of opportunities to take in a game whether it be NFL football or a Major League Baseball team. The first NHL team is coming to Seattle for the 21-22 season. If this is not enough, Seattle offers a rich selection of arts and culture centers, restaurants and museums. Washington is an extraordinary epicenter of corporate wealth and cutting edge technology. The Evergreen State is the birthplace for several Silicon Valley giants, including Microsoft, Amazon, Zillow, and Expedia. In fact, Facebook, Google, Twitter, and Apple have also selected the coastal region for their engineering home base. Olympia, Washington is the capital of the U.S. state of Washington and the largest city of Thurston County. It is located 60 miles southwest of Seattle, the state's largest city, and is the cultural center of the Southern Puget Sound region. Chosen as an ideal location by many for housing, schools, shopping, and the close proximity to Joint Base Lewis McCord installation. Olympia is known for being a great place to live, the center of state government and a popular destination for travelers on their way to the ocean. The population as of 2020 was 53,630. Washington State is predominantly English speaking, with Spanish being the second language of choice. Located 60 miles south of Seattle and Bellevue, residents like the size of this town. You have all that you need without the big city congestion. That being said, traffic on the I-5 is not anything to take lightly. Commuting in and out of Olympia can be grueling, especially because the city attracts so many out-of-town workers due to its large government workforce. What is the Washington State demographic? We currently have 60% of our families living in the Olympia Lacey area, 20% living in Steelcombe, and just under 20% in Tacoma, we have one family actually living in Seattle, which is quite a distance from the base, 41.6 miles to be exact. I also recommend against looking for houses in the Lakewood area, just for the level of crime in that area. The biggest industries in Washington are food and agriculture, aerospace and construction, information and communication technology, what is safety like in Tacoma? The Tacoma crime rates are a bit higher than the average for Washington towns and cities overall, but this does not mean you'll have, you will be victimized or have to feel unsafe when you're out and about. Tacoma is a beautiful city with many safe areas. Crime rates in Olympia per 1,000 residents, 256 with a 4.8% property crime rate. But again, there are many safe areas and I would be happy to point you in the right direction. Houses go really fast 
and do not stay on the market long. You are advised to book appointments before coming on your HHT if possible. The summers in Washington State are beautiful. Arts and culture are vibrant all year round. The Washington Center for Performing Arts, South Puget Sound's beloved performing arts facility, is committed to providing a wide variety of entertainment and cultural activities for the residents of five counties. Located in the heart of Washington State's capital, the center has become a community gathering place, providing a focus for the performing arts unique to this region. Joint Base Lewis McCord is an amalgamation of the Army Fort Lewis and the Air Force McCord Air Force Base. It was merged in 2010. Joint Base Lewis McCord consists of Lewis Main, Lewis North, McCord Field, and Yakima Training Center. There are nearly 210,000 active duty personnel, reserves, civilian personnel, dependents, and local retirees in this area. The installation is home to i and a 60-second airlift wing. Joint Base Lewis McCord is approximately 45 miles south of Seattle on Interstate 5. If you are driving, you should have no trouble finding Lewis, Maine. Locate exit 120, which will take you to the main gate. This gate is open 24 hours a day. What are the base highlights for Joint Base Lewis McCord? There's a commissary, an exchange, four fitness facilities, a base theater, an outdoor pool, a state of the art military treatment facility, family readiness centers, and two morale, welfare, and recreation offices. JBLM has a wide variety of programs and services available for military members and their families. For further details on base services, you are encouraged to visit the website listed on this slide. Western Air Defense Sector. There are 14 Canadian Forces members stationed at WADS. The remainder of Canadians, six in total, are employed at one Corps and the 62nd Airlift Wing. Western Air Defense Sector is located at 851 Lincoln Boulevard, Southwest, Joint Base Lewis McCord. WADS is a 24 and seven operation. The Canadian Detachment Orderly Room is accessible Monday through Friday, eight in the morning until four in the afternoon. Families must be escorted into, into the building by a military member. Contact information shall be provided upon request. What are the main challenges to think about when transitioning to the United States? These are the seven main outcan challenges that require more detailed attention and explanations. Therefore, you're encouraged to refer to our United States National CAF Connection site and our local JBLM site for further information. Links are provided on the top of this slide once on these sites, pay particular attention to the MFS US Family Guide, the FAQs, and the Health and Wellness section under Programs and Services. After reviewing our site and the areas identified, if you are unable to locate information, please do not hesitate to contact your local MFS coordinator. MFS is always available to point you in the right direction and we're here to help. What are the main differences between Canada and the state of Washington? I've identified three, the first being the size of the state. Washington state is the 18th largest state with a total of 7.6 million people. Traffic in the I-5 interstate. If you are coming to Washington state from a smaller base or city, the I-5 will present some challenges. Traffic is a main concern for sure. 
for many Canadian families. We currently have families living in a widely dispersed area. This sometimes makes connecting difficult. Traffic is of particular concern in the summer months when there is an influx of tourists and locals traveling out of state for weekend trips. Since its creation, the I-5 has moved more people and stalled more people than any other roadway in Washington. What are the open carry laws in this state? Open carry is lawful in Washington state without any permit. However, you must have a valid permit license to carry a loaded handgun in any vehicle in this state. Climate and weather in this area. The spring is full of rain, common occurrence. Summer temperatures peak around the high 70s between June and September. The fall is normally the rainy season and it lasts through to the spring. Temperatures hovering around 60. The winters, lows are found in the mid 30s and highs in around the mid 50s. There is minimal snow, lots of rain and wind. Summers can get extremely hot here, so it's recommended that you find a rental property with air conditioning. The good news, when it comes to natural disasters, Washington State actually ranks in the top three safest places to live in the country. Our location gets very little snow, so there's no need to have a snow blower during your posting. What can you expect from military family services in the local area? We've identified four main areas. We are here to welcome, orientate, and support you in your transition from one community to another. Provide opportunities for you to establish support networks through community building. Ensure that you're aware of and supported through the challenges you may encounter during periods of CF operational related absences. Provide information, referral, and support through military transitions, especially related to illness, injury, and crisis situations. While you are posted to the US, our goal as military family services is to provide you and your family with the support and information we have to help make this posting the best that it can be. And we hope to ease the transition between Canada and the US and help you settle and thrive in your new community. Our programs and services are developed and identified in the community to meet the needs of our Canadian Armed Forces families posted to this area. If there is something you need, whatever we can do to help, please do not hesitate to reach out. Please know you and your family will have excellent support and access to top-notch services while stationed in Joint Base lewis mccord And finally, the contact information for your local MFS coordinator is found here. Hours of operation, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m., Monday to Friday. You will notice the link here provided on this screen. If you need information on local programs and services, this is the place to go. Once you have your posting message, please contact the MFSC and they will be happy to add you to our secret Facebook group and our local email distribution list so that you will start receiving our news, programs, and local information. Thank you so much for watching. We hope that this helps prepare you for Washington State, a wonderful posting opportunity. You will also discover that we have a strong, supportive Canadian community, and we look forward to welcoming you and your family.